often calls me Chami, and I call him Anna. We met when Anna was 13. Strangely, at that time I was the same age. In the 40 years that we have been together, Anna has given me and my family livelihood and affection, and I have been his Mahout, the man who looks after an elephant. Over these long years, we have shared everything that life has to offer. Food, water, rivers, forests, happiness, sadness, everything. Our relationship has reached a point where I understand Anna's glances and his moods, and he understands what I say. Yes, we speak the same language. Each year, I take Anna to celebrate our anniversary at Aratapura. There, a beautiful festival is held to greet our growing together. There is music, there is fun. Sixty elephants come together to sing our love. Tomorrow will be a special day for us. Anna and Chami's friendship will turn 40. I was five when I saw the first elephant of my life. I recall standing on the doorstep of our hut when an elephant and his mahout passed by. I was overwhelmed by the animal. Something about the elephant touched me. For years, I watched the same elephant pass by till one day, I followed him right up to the river where the mahout used to bathe him. So often, I just sat on the riverbank and watched the elephant play in the water. Elephant my childhood fantasy. Twelve years later, when I had grown up, we learned that an elephant in the village had gone wild and had killed his mahout. The landlord who owned the animal asked me to take over as the new mahout. Strange as it may sound, the elephant in question was Anna, the very one I had loved as a child. Ever since, we've been together.
Na 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 na. Na na. Na na. Na na. There is complete trust between Anna and me, except when he enters the must condition. During the annual must period, one has to watch out because during this phase, the Asian elephants go mad. They attack other elephants, people, even their own mahouts. They have to be chained. City vets have to be summoned. They can shoot tranquilizers into the crazed elephants. It is not only I who has loved Anna. He has reciprocated my friendship. Some time ago, the elephant owner and I had a dispute over wages and he sacked me. Anna was taken away to a faraway town and entrusted to another mahout. Anna was miserable. He refused to obey anyone except me. One day, Anna ran away and hid himself in the jungle. <laughs> the owner had no option but to send for me. I entered the jungle, following the trail of Anna's footprints. After two days, I spotted him under a tree. Unsure of his reactions, I waited at a distance. I knew that elephants recognize people through smell. Then, I gently called out to him, Anna, Anna. Anna looked towards me, waited, and then slowly walked into my chains. Anna and I are nomads. We have walked over 150,000 kilometers in these years. Yes, it's true that I love Anna more than my wife and my children. At times, I am overcome by enormous guilt. What am I doing with an animal 
when a loving wife and children wait for me at home. But then, if I can go back to my family, where can Anna go? He has no family. അച്ച അച്ഛൻ വന്നോ എത്ര കാലമായി കണ്ടിട്ട് ഞാൻ കഞ്ഞി വേണം പാ അച്ഛന്റെ ചന്ദ്രശേഖരന്റെ നാപ്പതാമത്തെ പൂരല്ലേ നാപ്പത് വർഷം എന്റെ കൃഷ്ണ എന്റെ വയസ്സിന്റെ നേരെ ഇരുട്ടി Since my son and I were passing through the town, I thought of showing Anna to the vet. The doctor said there was nothing to worry about. is something else that is so rare in South India. Just as the two elephants were producing pre-mating sounds, 
Another female elephant, jealous of her ex-partner, charged in to try to separate them. was amusing for everyone, but did you know that there is virtually no mating amongst the captured elephants of South India? Luckily, the wild elephants reproduce, or else this species would have just disappeared. ignore their elephants' happiness. Some of them are even heartless enough to transform training sessions into outrageous torture. What strange behavior. First he tortures his elephant, then he summons the vet.
Anna and I spend our time hopping from one festival to another. Festivals need elephants for the feudal pomp and show, and the mahouts are paid for bringing their elephants to the festivals. Festivals are our livelihood. Aratapura is a night-long festival. Idols of goddesses from all over North Kerala are brought here by elephants. But what I like about Aratapura is something different and deeply personal. It was on this day that Anna and I met. This festival is a symbol of our lifelong friendship. Anna, life is beautiful. If I were asked to choose the course of my life again, I'd most unhesitatingly choose the way I have lived this one. Once Anna asked me in a dream, what if in the next birth, you were the elephant and I the keeper? Would you accept it? I said, yes.